Hi guys, happy Friday! Actually, it's、uh, three o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday, and I have my afternoon pick me up. Hi guys, today we have lots of stuff to catch up on. We're going to talk about the Tulamine Mystery Knit Along with spoilers, just be forewarned. We're going to talk about a new planner, and we're going to talk about what's inside this box. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Taking Back Friday. This is my Friday vlog where I talk about everything to do with knitting and spinning and weaving and dyeing and yarn and Sweet Georgia and the School of Sweet Georgia. So the first thing that I want to catch you guys up on is a couple of things that I have been knitting. I have been working on the Tulamine Mystery Knit Along, and I've also been working on a sweater for Russell. So this is a colorwork yoke sweater that I wanted to have ready for Knit City, which is actually just in two weeks. It's in two weeks. So if you guys are coming to Knit City and you're going to be in the Vancouver area, please do stop by our booth. Come and say hello. There's also a schedule of different activities. So the grocery girls are going to be come、uh, coming and hanging out in our booth for a little bit. They both have new knitwear design patterns. That they're going to be releasing at Knit City, and、uh, we'll have the patterns there at our booth. So come and say hello to the grocery girls, to Tracy and Jody. We also have, which I mentioned、uh, a while back, is that Sweet Georgia is hosting the Knitters Lounge at Knit City, and so you can come hang out in the lounge, bring your lunch, sit, knit, you know, just a place to chat with your friends and all this kind of stuff. And we'll have kind of a loungy seating area set up as well. Uh, what else are we doing in the lounge? We're also doing yarn tastings in the lounge. So if there are yarns that you've never tried before, we're going to do a bunch of different yarn tastings for things like the Bulletproof Sock, the Mohair Silk DK, some of my favorite yarns that you know it might be.、Um, Yeah, it might be you haven't had the opportunity to try any one of these yarns, so those will be there. And we're also doing a series of make and take little workshop events. So Charlotte's going to be there leading you through the steps of doing these little yarny craft things. They're very very quick and simple things that you can do, and then you can save them for the holidays or something like that. So come by and see us for Knit City. So I was talking about my sweater. <laughs> So this is the sweater that I have been working on for Russell, and I actually、uh, showed it to him last night. Or actually, I was knitting on it last night, and he saw it, and he's like, "Wait, that's not the color I asked for." And then I was like, "Too bad." <laughs> so this is the color so far. You can see it is yellow and orange, and then there's a little bit of gray. He was saying that what he wanted was. For the bottom to be black or darker gray, somehow he thinks that this is not really gray. He said that that looks purpley blue,、um, and he's probably right because it's kind of a purpley blue gray. <laughs> so in any case, this is what I'm working on. I have just got to the body. I've finished the short rows, and so basically on the back of the sweater there are a couple of extra rows, some short rows that you do on the back side of the sweater, so that you can add a little bit of extra length. Before you start the rest of the body, and so that is designed to help the sweater hang a little bit lower on your bum, so it does it covers a little bit better.、Uh, so yeah, I'm just finishing up those short rows right now. Now with these short rows, because I'm also doing the thing where I'm alternating between two different skeins of、uh, this gray at the same time, it's a little bit.、Eh, maybe it looks, maybe it looks a little bit messy on the back side. It looks a little bit messy. So there's these kind of longer floats back here where I'm taking the yarn of the alternating skein and pulling it up as I'm doing these short rows. So in any case, it might look a little bit messy on the back, but it works, and it's going to produce a better overall color on the front of the garment. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, it's looking good. So this is the inside. Get those nice floats, nice and loose. Nice and even and consistent. Once it's washed, it will nicely flatten out and look a lot nicer as well. So,、uh, yeah, this is pretty close to being straight body. And then I'm going to do the sleeves. Do those should be done in two weeks. The other thing that I'm knitting on right now is the Tulamine Mystery Knit Along Shawl that we're doing for Sweet Georgia. So the third clue has just come out this week, and so I'm going to give you a little bit of a spoiler alert because I want to show you how much I've done so far. I have been actually keeping up with the clues. I've been keeping up. 
I finished Clue 2 the night before Clue 3 came out. So exciting. Okay, so let me show you what I have done so far. You can see, this is what it looks like so far. Basically, I'm still holding this all on one circular needle, which is why it looks a little bit deformed right now. But basically, we started in the center with a little tiny circular cast on and then increased in sort of a square format. And then once the square was large enough, then we split it in half and we have been knitting half and half. So it's going to become, whoa, it's going to become like a rectangle so far that I know. I mean, I haven't started clue three yet. So clue two has been basically adding on to the square on one side and then as well on the other side, repeating. So it's gonna be symmetrical. Right now, I still have them all on the same circular needle. So you can see what it kind of looks like so far. I've added color two, so that's CC1, and we have not yet added the lightest color yet. So I don't know where that's gonna come in. I don't know when that's gonna come in or how it's gonna come in. But in any case, clue, t clue three has just come out and I'm gonna download that as soon as I finish recording this. So that's it for the spoiler alert. I'm not gonna tell you guys any more about the shawl right now, but yeah, it is still ongoing. So if you want to join in, you can join in anytime. You can just go to Ravelry, find the pattern. It's called Tulamine Mystery Knit Along uh, or Tulamine Shawl. And then the actual finished pattern will be available in its entirety in October once the uh, once the knit along is done, but it should take about five weeks altogether, five clues. Uh, clue three just launched this past week. And yeah, I think it's actually been a really doable amount of knitting. Like I am normally super behind on all of these knit alongs. I mean, things happen and I just, for some reason, can't seem to ke keep up with knit alongs. But for this particular one, it's actually been quite reasonable. So I've been knitting on this and been knitting mm, a little bit on the sweater. So I'm kind of going back and forth between the two, which is really slowing me down. But in any case, these are the two things that I'm working on right now. So the next thing that I wanted to mention is that I was at the studio yesterday. I was picking up that pink box and I was also picking up some other things that have just recently arrived in the studio. And one of those things is a new planner. I don't know if you guys can see, the words are very, very light, but this is the Strik Mich 2019 knitting planner. So I'm just going to open this up because I have actually not seen what the inside of this planner looks like. If it's any different from the one that we got last year. Um, let's see. Let's open this up. So for those of you guys who don't know what this is, this is actually um, knitwear designer Martina Beam. She started producing these knitwear uh, or knitting, knitting productivity planners. So basically it's a day planner designed specifically for knitters. So, you know, it's September, it's kind of that time of year. It's time when you start thinking about the end of the year. It's almost the last quarter, thinking about, you know, the plans that you want to make for next year, things like that. So this is where a knitting planner like this would come in handy. So this is beautiful. It's, it's a little bit different than last year. Last year had kind of like a vinyl cover. This one has a fabric cover and it's got a nice hot pink little elastic here, which is very, very sweet. So let's take a look. So there's still the illustrations similar to last year's illustrations. Um, it's very cute. And then we have here rolling calendars. I love those. Let's flip through quarterly overview, week by week. So mostly, I think in here is mostly week week spreads. Yeah, they're mostly done as week spreads. So each week spread is done where you have like your most important urgent tasks. So there's like four spots for the most urgent things, four slots for the important things, other tasks that you need to get done, and then a little section for each day of the week. So it's a weekly spread kind of planner. I recently also invested in another pre-printed planner. It's called the Full Focus Planner and it's by a guy named uh, Michael Hyatt. I don't know if you guys have ever followed him. He writes a lot of books about productivity, about writing. He used to be a CEO of a publishing company, so he writes a lot about those kinds of things. But in any case, I invested in his planner and his planner is a combination of mostly daily pages and I started using it for the past couple of weeks and I feel like there's so much 
waste because I don't sit and write enough every single day uh, to make it worth it to have a daily page day planner. Um, it makes much more sense to have my whole week mapped out and then check things off as I go and be able to have an overview of the whole week. When I go day by day, I have to kind of copy everything from one day to the next day to the next day. And then I just feel like it's a lot of wasted space, a lot of extra paper that is unnecessary. And the planner is actually super, super thick. It's almost like twice as thick as this one. And it's only for one quarter. This is for the entire year. And it's like nice and compact, can fit in your purse and your bag. So that's actually quite great about this. So weekly planner, weekly planner. The other things that I really like about these planners are there's usually um, a section here. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm looking for. So there's a section on yearly reflection. So looking at 2018, what was difficult? Looking at 2019, what am I, uh, what am I learning? What was especially hard for me? How can I make progress? I love doing that sort of annual review, looking at where you've been, what you've done, and what you want to change moving forward. So this could definitely help with that. And again, sections for different goals. And then the last half, it's like a half of the book, half of this journal is all for knitting. So it's about your knitting timelines, you know, what you made, when, what projects you made, how long it took you to make all of these items. Um, there's sections for all the patterns that you might want to knit, keeping notes about those kinds of things, and uh, wish lists for yarn. There's just lots and lots of stuff specifically for people who knit. There's some graph paper for drawing out your sketches and designs and things like that. Yeah, and ooh, some dot paper too here in the back. Yeah, fantastic. Ooh, there's us. Ta -da. So that is it for this new planner. This is the Strickmich Knitting Planner 2019. This is designed by Martina Baim. And uh, what I have here is actually, I have an extra one of these. So I'm gonna write in this one, but there's another brand new one that's still in the plastic bag. And what I'd like to do is do a little giveaway. So I think how we're gonna do it is, in order for you guys to sign up to have a chance to win one of these planners, you can head over to the link that I'm gonna post down below, or you can click it up here. Uh, but basically you can sign up for a chance to win one of these and uh, leave a comment for me below and tell me what you use a knitting planner for if you've used this one before and uh, we're going to do a prize draw maybe in two weeks. Let's do it in two weeks because I want you to get your planner so that you can start planning for next year. So let's do that. Follow the link, sign up, win yourself a book and yeah, start planning 2019 already. So the last thing I want to talk about today is what's in this box. What is this box? This box is the box for our advent calendar. So last year we started doing this thing where we made an advent calendar for Sweet Georgia. And that means that inside the box there were 25 little, 24 little boxes. And in each one of those boxes was a little bit of yarn or a little gift, like a holiday gift, a little knitting related gift. And then there was also a little clue inside. And so every day, the point of the advent calendar kit was that every day you would unwrap one box, get a little bit of yarn and get a clue and use that clue to knit together a big shawl. So I don't have my shawl here with me. Do I? It's over there. So last year, our shawl was made out of multicolored mini skeins and combined all the whole, all of those little mini skeins together to make this big beautiful shawl which we called Winter Dawn and the pattern is also available on Ravelry if you want that pattern separately. This year we decided to do something a little bit different. It's also going to be a shawl and it's also going to be sort of a mystery so every day you'll unwrap a little bit of a clue but last year we stuck with only Tough Love sock, only one kind of yarn base and then this year we thought what we would do is we would encourage some different textures and some different yarn bases and mix it up a little bit so you can see uh, it's kind of like you get to taste a bunch of different textures and enjoy some different things. So it's not all about sock yarn all the time, right? So I wanted to show you a little bit of what's inside the box. Okay, so this is the main outside box. It has a magnetic closure. And then you can see 
ta-da, the inside of the box. Can I get that in here? So let's see. So in here, what we did was we designed brand new packaging for all of the inside boxes. These ones are just a mock-up of what the actual one's gonna be. So there's no numbers on each one of these, but eventually there's gonna be numbers on all of the boxes, except for this box. This box, there's actually 25 boxes. This box is a box that you get to open before December 1st. And this one says, open me first. And the goal of this box is to provide you with some stuff for swatching. I know last year when we started um, the shawl, everybody knits at a slightly different gauge and everybody uses different needles, different setup, different tension, all these kinds of things. So in order to get people off on the right foot and feel comfortable about starting day one with you know the right gauge and with the right everything, we decided to include a little bit of a thing here so that we could get people started before December 1st. But I really had fun designing all of the packaging for this, this kit. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. It was pretty fun. It was hard to know, you know, what kind of colors to use or what kind of textures to use, but we really wanted to create something that was calm, that was relaxing. It's December, you know, it's sometimes it can be kind of a stressful time of the year. And so what we wanted to do was to create something where every day was like, ah, this is your happy time, this is your happy place, you get to come here and enjoy. Every day is a tiny little mystery, just take it as it comes, but just go with it. And so I tried to include little, little, <laughs> little hints along the way. So like this box here, it says, can you see? It says, go with the flow. And this box here says, breathe. And this box says, time to rest. So I'm obviously not gonna open any of these boxes to show you what's inside the boxes, but just to let you know that there's 25 boxes, there's some yarn, there's some gifts, there's some nice things for knitters inside each of these boxes. And of course, there's gonna be a little clue. And the clue is some instructions for knitting all of these bits and pieces together to make a nice shawl. So we're really, really excited about this advent calendar. We have been working on this for months now, like for the better part of a year, I think. So, you know, our team has been breaking down yarns for many, many months now. We've been working on this for a long time. Tabitha's been writing the pattern, you know, we've been having a tech edited and uh, having a test knit, all of these kinds of things. Yeah, it's been a really, really big project. Last year was for sure a very, very big project. Uh, this year has also been um, big. It's a lot. And we're also making, I think, almost twice as many as we did last year. So yeah, it's been quite a big production effort on our part, uh, but we're really excited to do this. It's super fun and it's super fun to do this together with you guys in December. I know I knit mine along with everybody as a mystery. I didn't know what it was gonna look like. I mean, I had worked with Tabitha on the colors, but I had no idea what the actual shawl was gonna look like. So I got to enjoy that mystery along with everybody else as well. Um, it's just a really wonderful thing to do for yourself for December. So what we're gonna do is to make it really super fair for everybody, we have been letting people know ahead of time with as much advance notice as we could possibly do. Um, but we're letting people know far in advance about when this is gonna launch. So some people have actually been on a waiting list since last November, waiting for these new kits to come out. So what we're gonna do is next week sometime, I'm not gonna say when, because I don't wanna bring down our server, but next week sometime, we are going to send out an email notification to the people who have been on the waiting list. You know, some people have been on there for a week, some people have been on there for almost 10 months. So we're gonna let all of those guys know first, and then what we're gonna do is there's gonna be a password protected product. So you'll have to use a password in order to get in to buy the advent calendar. We're also holding back 
a few of these calendars so that we can bring them to Knit City, which is September 29th and 30th in Vancouver, because we want a chance for our local, our local knitter friends to have a chance to pick up these calendars. So we'll bring a stash of them to Knit City. Anything that doesn't get sold at Knit City and anything that is remaining from the stock that we have will go online early in October, very, very, very early in October. And then we'll send out an email notification to everybody on our list to let them know that that one is available. So hopefully this process works a little bit easier. Uh, last year we were very, very much caught off guard. So <laughs> we're trying to figure out how to do things better. So um, yeah, that's it about the advent calendar. I hope that you guys are excited about this. I'm super excited about this. I still don't know what the shawl is gonna look like. So I'm gonna knit along with you guys. Tabitha is uh, talking about recording a couple of tutorials that we can post along the way. We're going to maybe do some knit alongs along the way, maybe, you know, do some, you know, virtual knit ins and share what we're doing. I don't know what's going to happen because December is kind of a crazy time. So we're going to take it as it comes as well, but we want to find a way to, you know, enjoy this project together. So yeah, great. So that is it for this week. If you can see, I'm wearing a new sweater. Ta -da! This one is called Ammonite, Ammonite, and it is also part of the fall collection that is going to launch on September 18th. So the next vlog for Taking Back Friday that we do is going to be all about all the new fall collection pieces. So this is just a preview. Pattern is not yet available, will be available on September 18th. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. Thank you guys so much for being here every week to listen to me talk about knitting and color and yarn and all these kinds of things. I hope that you guys like this episode. I hope it's informative. I hope it inspires you to knit more things. So if you like this episode, please hit the like button. And if you would like to subscribe to see more of these things, please hit the subscribe button and you will be notified when videos go live. Uh, they usually go live every Friday at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.